So why is this topic important? Um, so there's a couple of different reasons why this topic's important. Keep the keep the uh, chatter going. I love seeing everyone jump in. We've got I got 86 people wanting to learn about outreach. I love this. Um, outbound, and then a lot of teams are using outreach for outbound. I'm going to try to give you some ways to use it outside of just outreach. Uh, awesome. Brian's using outreach already. That's awesome. Um, Chris, I saw your question. I'll hop on that here in a second too. Uh, outbound is in an abysmal state. Let's just call it what it is. We did a survey uh, last week, was last week, week before. How many teams, two weeks ago, how many teams are um, hitting their number almost, but not quite and not close and only 18%. And we had almost a thousand people respond. Only 18% of people are hitting their outbound numbers. That's sad. And I'll tell you why it's because a lot of teams don't know how to use outreach. That's one. I'm just going to call it what it is that they set up sequences that are like, boop, send all my friend. That's marketing's job. That's like Marketo and Pardot. But, but it's really one of the number one reasons I'm going to talk about how to fix that, but that I see teams failing. And it's because, you know, look, and, and whenever we asked people, the follow-up poll was, hey, why do you think it's failing? Generic messaging. So we, and, and, and then the other reason, this is like one of my favorite ones here, right? Which is like, we're tracking quality over quantity. We're tracking quantity. I think this is backward. We're tracking quantity over quality. So it's like, we know outbound isn't working. We know we keep doing generic message things that aren't working. We know we keep saying, just do more activities. So, so therefore, I'm just going to a news flash for everyone. You will not be successful in generating net new meetings if you are hitting send all on emails with generic messaging and focused on volume versus quality metrics. Okay, it's never going to happen for you. And so I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about ways that you can uh, just hit send all and like this magic. Trust me, my friends, if there was a magic button that was like, oh, you can just hit send all and hit your numbers, I promise I would tell you, right? And I, I trust me, it used to be, look, when these tools first came out, I remember talking to Manny back in like 2015. 20, you know, people weren't, email wasn't as saturated. 2015, 2016, 2017, 2018, it starts to get tough. So it's like, it was okay to use the approach that we did because email was such a great channel. The problem is, as everyone gets up to speed, we now have to be a little bit more complex. And so for all of you out there that are thinking about, you know, either purchasing outreach, um, just so you guys know, I, I think that this is important too. We get this much commission from outreach. So this isn't a, um, you know, I, I hope a lot of you sign up and, and we, can, we can make sure that you get hooked up with the right people to get hooked up. So make sure to DM me on LinkedIn and we can make sure you get to the right people if you don't use outreach. But I don't make any commit, my company, we don't make any commission from selling outreach, just to be perfectly clear. We make all our money on services around outreach. Right. And that's where we feel like people need to be thinking about is that outreach is a always optimizing tool. It's not a set it and forget it, but I'm, not, I'm getting uh, ahead of myself there. So uh, as we get into this, um, I'm going to talk about strategies for people trying to generate net new meetings, strategies for my AEs, my sellers out there and how they should be using outreach. And then I'm going to talk about some, you know, things for managers or admins, but candidly, you all could use a lot of this as well, too. So, Yeah. Um, all right, so I'm going to take a question here before we dive into the six ways. Uh, let's see, we had William from LinkedIn. Uh, we're about to launch outreach internally. How can we best prepare utilization? You know what I'm going to do? Um, yeah, and then Chris also asked, currently looking at it as a possible tool in our tool belt. So I think I'll take, I'll take kind of both of these in the same answer. So the, one of the big things, and I'm going to talk about it here, is this concept of always optimizing. So I'm going to get into that. I won't talk about that now because I'm going to talk about it later. What's important about that mindset is that for all of you out there, I want you to hear me. Getting outreach or a tool like it deployed is step zero. Zero. And if you look at I I, what I see is too many people look at a deployment as an event. They look at a deployment as a like, cool, we're deployed. My friends, that is not the right mindset. So for anybody who's thinking about utilizing outreach, you know, you've got your initial deployment plan, but what's our ongoing plan? That is the number one key to success. And so, and again, it's why we've got this, this managed service practice that's growing is, you know, companies are like, look, we know we need to do it, but we want to bring in experts. And that's where, you know, we come in as well as, uh, you know, a few others. 
So as you all get into this, um, let's just talk. Let's talk about for all my people out there, what are six ways you can hit your numbers this year? Let's go. All right. So, so look, talking about this year, we're, we're, pro we're focused primarily on the short, but I also don't want you to, <laughs> I don't want you to forget about uh, the midterm, right? I don't want you to forget about setting up Q1 for a lot of success too. And I think one of the big issues that I see right now is that because people are so focused on now, 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 every month they're kind of starting over where best in class teams, you know, what they're actually doing is they're not, they're, they're playing the mid, short and long game. They've got people that they know they'll convert in six months. And those are the teams that I see, the people that have that mindset are the people that have, um, yeah, that mindset around, oh, how, how do I put it? That if I can start to tee up more people for down the road, then guess what? Six months, seven months, eight now, um, months from now, I'm coming into every month with four or five book meetings. And that's just a mindset that, again, I want a lot of you to, to really think about is, you know, although we're going to talk about the short term now, I do want a lot of you to think about, are you nurturing people and teeing up to make, I always, I always have this saying, I say like, I do a lot of things today to make future Jake's life easier, right? So like, I'm going to go set this up, set this meeting, put this calendar, and that's going to help future Jake <laughs> hit his number or our company hit our number or us to be more productive. So just uh, mindset wise, I want to get you all there. So I'm going to talk about some uh, plays that I think that a lot of you should be running right now. All right. And the first one is about around video, right? And I'm going to talk about video twice today that for a lot of you, right? What I want every one of you to do is this. Okay. I want every single one of you to go through your not interested, right? You're not interested or people that book that the first actual, the first tier, sorry, I forgot the note. The first tier is I want all my SDRs out there to go run a report of all closed, lost opportunities that you generated in 2021. And I, what I want you to do is send a personalized video and follow up to them. So obviously get with the AE, right? Or maybe not closed, lost. Maybe you don't get compensated on that. Maybe it's deals that never flipped. Whatever that tier is, that is like right before where you get compensated or where the AE might take over. I want you to go today, as soon as we finish this, go run a report in Salesforce for people that were engaged with you or engaged with sales, but didn't make it through, right? Maybe you coordinate with your AE. There's a lot of different things you can do. And I want you to do this. I want you to build a very simple outreach sequence, four steps. Step one, email. Hey, John, I know it's been a minute. X, Y, Z. Step two, next day, double tap, video, personalized video. Hey, John, the thing that I left out of yesterday, it just hit me, is X. And then I want you to follow up with maybe a call and another email in the next seven days. Email day one, fast follow, epiphany, I forgot this one key detail, video, personalized video to engage. I am telling you right now, if you go back and you pull out those people, all right, if you're pulling out those details, okay, that quick little sequence, little four hitter email, fast follow day two personalized video from Vidyard um, or whatever your video of choice is, um, day four email, day five, five, I'm sorry, day four call, day five maybe email follow up, but again, quick, right? What we're seeing more and more is I think there was another, God, who was I talking to? Um, they're using a technique called a triple tap. It's like, you know, boom, boom, boom. It's like three mediums in, in like within 24 hours. So for a lot of you out there, think video, 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 video. And that kind of leads me into some of my other details here. Then, then the next play that I would run is whoever the, the people were that maybe said not interested. So these are the people who said not right now, timing's off. And these are the people, again, I might run a very similar play. These are, I'm gonna call these like my medium and longs right? That, you know, maybe I'm going to suggest, hey, like, let's catch up right after the new year. Let's catch up right before the new year. But again, you can use a really similar style of approach where, again, I'm just, I'm all in on video right now. And the reason is like, there's such a small amount of people that are doing it. The other thing that you could try for some reason, you don't feel comfortable on video. Uh, for those of you who don't know, again, my, my, oh, there's my, oh, you can see my kids, my family. There we go. Um, if you go to the LinkedIn app, on mobile and your first degree connection, what you also can do is just send a voicemail. There's a little, when you go to the message, there's a little microphone button, you can just push the voicemail. So I love that. 
again, right now, I feel like, look, for everyone here now, we've got 100 plus people. It is so easy to stand out right now. You saw the numbers. Everyone's focused on quantity. Everyone's focused on generic message and it's not working. So all you have to do is somewhat customize your messaging and pick an interesting medium and you are going to be successful, right? So that's my first play. First play, four quick hits with your warm pipeline, people that kind of started to engage but didn't go through. And then once you finish that, then go to the uh, people that were, again, maybe like not interested or not right now and run a very similar play. 